One of the most discouraging things for any leader is an upset parent. What are you going to do about it? Hey, Scouter Stan, did you know there's an actual complaint form uh, for any parents? We'll, we'll talk about that later, but let's just jump right into it. The, the subject of today is upset parents, and this has nothing to do with safety issues, which everyone should be aware of, and YPT issues. Okay, those are a separate thing. This would be a disagreement between parents, between leaders. This is things that actually occurs quite often. Parents get upset for many different reasons. One could be just personal or even a cultural difference. There could be some serious issues. A perceived unfairness, something that went wrong at, say, the, uh, Pinewood Derby, that could be a problem. The person that's upset could be confronted with something they just don't want. Say an additional fee that's imposed on everyone they could get very upset about that. It could be as simple as it's just your turn. For some reason, they did not object to anything all day. And then all of a sudden, the straw that broke the camel's back happens, and you are the recipient of that upset parent. In Wood Badge, we actually have a course called Managing Conflicts. This is my actual book when I was a uh, patrol guide. I got to present this at Wood Badge. Uh, this is a, a field slideshow. It literally is, it's got all the different notes and stuff in it. Fascinating. And you took this course because you've gone to Wood Badge, you know, and you've gone through this. Oh, ow. Anyways, You've gone to Wood Badge and you've gone through all this. So you know that there's different things that can be done. Now I'm going to just go over some of the things that will help adult leaders handle upset parents. Self-resolving conflicts. These are those things that given time, most people can figure out why they're angry, why they're upset about an issue, and they handle that issue on their own. This is critical conflicts. Sometimes they just need to air what they are feeling, and it self-resolves almost instantaneously. Cooperative resolution is different. That's when you have to use your listening skills and really start thinking about a solution. First off, we have to make a very major point to all adult leaders, all the youth, and all of the parents are bound by the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. This will help resolve most issues. These are the ground rules that we all live by, and we expect others to live by it too. The most important skill is active listening. This is a part of being courteous. A scout is courteous by actively listening to others. When you're listening, make sure that you interpret correctly the actual issues. Try to screen out anything that would be negative or something that has nothing to do with the actual issue. It may be personalities or different types of, uh, you know, just issues that have nothing to do with the reason that they're angry. Leave those out. Be careful not to shut down or walk away. This sends a very bad message. In fact, that isn't being a scout is friendly or kind. Those are not good examples. I know it's hard. You have to determine what the actual issue is. Once you find out, you have to restate that issue exactly how the person presented it not with anything negative, just 
the facts. When you think about it, when you boil it all down, the real thing is, from an adult leader standpoint, you have to think about what is it that they want. What do you want? Now, this may not come off in a situation where there's a problem. That's not something you would normally tell an individual, but you need to think about that and find out what they want. The answer to that question is the solution to the conflict. It can really be that easy. So it's important as adult leaders, we need to think about what others want and be able to help them get it. That's the whole thing. It is very easy to have an attitude, to perceive something incorrectly. That needs to be put aside. That's something that you can work with later. But for the moment, find out what they want. And that is the answer to any problem that they may have. Hey, you remember that complaint form I was telling you about at the beginning? The complaint form is quite literally got a 100% warranty from National. Uh, this complaint form is known as the adult application. Believe it or not, that is an excellent place. There is no problem if you're part of the solution. Think about that. Get adults involved. Every single parent should have some involvement with your unit. Every single one. All of them should be involved directly with your unit. And you know that. You know that to be true. So keep up the good work. And I know, I know, you, you do good work. This little trick thing with the complaint form, that works. I'll tell you a little secret. My wife was advancement uh, chair for our son's troop, and a parent kept complaining and complaining. And eventually, my, my wife, who is not conflict-oriented at all, okay, she actually gave this person an adult application. And the, the random complaints ended at that point because that was apparent to her that she was just complaining to complain. So every adult in your unit should be involved. And I know they are. I know you do that. So until then, I will see you on the trail.